Hello and welcome to Neil's Spanish Flybox. I hope you're all keeping well. I've had a request from a subscriber to tie a caddis fly or a sedge if you're in the UK and here in Spain it's called a tricoptero. Now I will go through the materials as I tie the fly but this is a very Spanish sedge or caddis fly. The material I'm going to use to mount the uh, fly is a brown thread and this is tenno. I'm going to start that a couple of mil behind the eye and wind it down and trim off. Right now <clears throat> for the body I'm going to use cock pheasant tail. Now you won't need that many fibres, uh, I would think probably five or six. Um, the hook that I have in the vise is a size 16. Right. I think there's six fibres there. I'll tie those in. Right, and I'm going to tie this around the bend of the hook slightly and bring it back up. to the thorax area. Right, and wind this on. Up to the thorax area. And tie it off. tidy up. Right now for the wings this is what makes it very much a Spanish fly because I'm using Coq de Lyon. Now the original Coq de Lyon came from Lyon in Spain in the region of uh, Castilla Lyon and that's what makes it a very Spanish fly. Now I've already taken off uh, a couple of plumes and uh, taken off the light stuff at the bottom and the and the stalk, trimmed them up. And I have two here. Now in order to make the wing we need to take off the the fibers from the sides so that's what I'm going to do and then once I've taken them off I'm going to put them in a stacker, in a hair stacker. Right so let's just see how we get on here. This uh, fly is a fly for rough water, uneven surface water. It really is uh, a very good fly for that. Right now I've pulled off the, uh, the fibres. It's very important that you trim off those curly bits at the end before you put them in the stacker. If you don't do that, they won't go into the stacker properly and they won't stack basically and uh, it doesn't matter the length of them if, if they're all different lengths because at the end of the day they'll all be stacked up. Right, I'm going to take off one side from this second plume and I think that will probably be enough. And trim off into the stacker. Give it a knock on the bench or work surface or whatever top you're using or your hand whatever and hopefully they will come out at the same level at the bottom. I've got one errant fly, uh, fiber there we'll take that out and pull them out. Now the wing you want 
about half of the length of the hook shank over the back of the bend of the hook. Right, I'm going to tie that in. It's just a little bit too long, so I'll pull it through a little bit. Right, now you need to spread these out so that they fan out and look like a wing. I'm just going to have a look at the other side to make sure. Okay, check the profile, that looks okay. Right, now I'm going to trim off the butts and tidy up. Profile again. It's a little something. Right, now for the hackle at the front, I'm going to use a furnace, a furnace feather, sorry. Um, now you can use a straight red game or possibly a, a brown grizzle or a barred feather um, to have the same effect. Um, but as I say, I'm going to use a nice furnace hackle. Right, I'm just going to tie that in. And trim off the stalk. Now, we're going to give this quite a, a, a bushy finish, so we're going to need a few, a few turns. That's fine. And a six, I think that's probably enough. And tie off. And trim off the feather. All right now I'm going to use a, um, a half inch tool to finish it off because it uh, actually pushes some of the hackle back. And you can always trim up when you're finished. I'm going to put a little bit of uh, super glue on that knot just to make sure that it's in place. It doesn't slip. Check the eye and make sure there's nothing in there. That's free. All right now uh, we'll have a look at the, the trimming. So we don't want these fibers sticking out the front here. I suppose you could tie this in a 14 um, and be successful with it. Depends on how choppy the water is. But that is a typically very Spanish sedge. Um, if you want to trim off the uh, the fibers at the bottom here of the hackle if you like it to sit in a different way then by all means do that um, but that is as i would fish it i hope you enjoyed that if you liked it give it a thumbs up and if you're not already a subscriber please consider being so and i'll see you in the next video bye